Welcome back to another cooking video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a filling for your sushi rolls to make them a little bit more tasty and a little bit more interesting. Now what I'm going to show you today is a traditional Japanese technique where you take dried shiitake mushrooms like these here and you turn them into these soy sweet uh, juicy umami packed mushrooms and you can slice and place inside a sushi roll and it just adds something special to your sushi roll. Now uh, you can use this technique to make various dishes but today we're more focused on how to make it into sushi because you know this is how to make sushi channel so let's get straight into it let's go okay just start off with 10 dried shiitake mushrooms and then you're just going to rinse them just to get rid of any dirt now you're going to want to take your 10 mushrooms place them in a bowl like this and then just cover them with one liter of water. Now you notice they start to flow to the surface and this is bad because that means that only one side of the mushroom will get hydrated. So to counteract this, you're gonna take a paper towel and press it down and this way they're all wet evenly around. Now you're gonna leave this for at least two hours in the fridge, but I've left mine here for 24 hours. And after that, you just wanna remove your cling film and then just remove the paper towel and dispose of that. Okay. Great, now just fish out your mushrooms and place them into this tray. Now you're gonna reserve this for later, the mushroom juices. And you're gonna to wanna to take your mushrooms and just cut off the stalks. For this, just press your knife against the body of the mushroom and just slice it off as close to the body as you can. So just press it down and cut it off, there we go. All right, once that's done, you're gonna to need to sieve out any bits from your mushroom stock reserve liquid and pour out 500 milliliters of this for later. And now these are the ingredients to cook your mushrooms. To start with, you're gonna take your 10 soaked mushrooms, and you're gonna add 30 grams of brown sugar, 40 grams of soy sauce, 120 milliliters of sake, and 120 milliliters of mirin rice wine. And then your 500 milliliters of reserved mushroom stock. Now you're just gonna to wanna to start cooking this and while that heats up, take some baking paper and just fold it in half and then fold that in half again. And then at a diagonal, you're gonna to wanna to fold it in half and you wanna keep doing this until you can't anymore. So just fold it again and one more time and just do that again, this will be enough. And now you're gonna cut the little tip off the end here and that'll make the center hole for your droplet. And then you're gonna to wanna to take the rest of it and put it towards half of your cooking pot and then just measure out a little bit more, about one inch more, that's two and a half centimeters more. And you're gonna to wanna to cut there. And that's it, that's, you have created your droplet. Then you just wanna unfold it and then press it into the pot. And now what this does is it keeps the mushrooms submerged so they cook evenly and also it prevents the pot from overboiling. So this is very helpful for things you wanna cook for a long time like this. Okay, you're gonna cook it for 40 minutes, no more, no less. And once it's done, you just remove your makeshift drop lid and then you just want to scoop your mushrooms out and that's them done. This is your cooked and seasoned mushrooms. They're delicious, sweet. And this sauce here is sweet and soy saucy and it's pure gold. Do not throw this away. You can use this for many things. Just give it a little taste and throw it on stuff to try it out. Now you can keep your mushrooms for up to three days in the fridge and to use them you just want to slice them into thin slices just like this. So there we go. Now you know how to make sweet soy flavored shiitake mushrooms. They're nice and juicy and you can place them inside a sushi roll. All you have to do is just take your cut shiitake mushrooms, place them inside your sushi roll and I recommend adding other ingredients like a fish or something to go with it or vegetables to have more than just only the shiitake mushrooms in a sushi roll. And yeah, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, check out some more of my sushi videos here and here. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.